Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, and it's time for a reaction. Melodic Darth Metal has sent me a fan-made Ralph McQuarrie Star Wars concept trailer. Not really sure what that is, but I'm already excited because I love me some Ralph McQuarrie. His concept art designs are one of the main reasons that I'm a Star Wars fan. It's incredible. So uh, yeah, let's dive into this and see what we got. The Dave School. The earlier drafts of the Star Wars screenplay featured many notable differences from that of the actual film George Lucas ended up creating in 1977. It's true. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, we might have seen a green-skinned Han Solo with gills, stormtroopers with lightsabers, well, yeah. and Luke Skywalker depicted as a heroic young girl. We never saw that movie, but many of these differences can be seen in the concept art illustrated by the amazingly talented Ralph McQuarrie, the master. whose artwork inspired the look of the Star Wars universe. And while looking back at these early paintings depicting God, what beautiful. might have been, many Macquarie fans have asked the question, what if Star Wars ended up looking like this? What if Star Wars ended up being this movie? The students at the Digital Animation and Visual Effects School in Orlando, Florida have taken it upon themselves oh, what? to answer no way. that question by bringing Ralph McQuarrie's paintings to life this is in a be good. trailer for what might have been the Star Wars. Nice, I'm, I'm excited for this now. Not that I wasn't before. Let's see what they came up with. All right, here we go. I like the film grain. Oh, nice. Wow. This is incredible. I have that print. That's what I'm talking about. Man, they went all out on this. Yes, that's one of my favorite pieces. Original Y-Wings. Another one of my favorites. Man, this is this is great. I'm recognizing every single shot. They really outdid themselves on this. That was fucking awesome. I was super impressed by that. The level of effort that must have gone into that really blew me away. So congratulations to the Dave School. This is one Star Wars fan you've definitely impressed. Those of you with sharp eyes may have noticed the Ralph McQuarrie prints on the wall here. I've been collecting them slowly over time and they're some of the most treasured things in my entire collection. George Lucas' original draft is a concept that's been explored a lot recently. Uh, in 2014, J.W. Rinsler released a graphic novel based on the original screenplays called The Star Wars. It was pretty badass, I'd recommend reading it. It's kind of a cool what-if story. So Ralph McQuarrie passed away in 2012, but his designs live on in Star Wars. Even in the new movies, his visual design is still going strong. In The Force Awakens, you can see one of Ralph McQuarrie's arches in Nima Outpost on Jakku, as well as one of his original designs creating the Hask species seen in Maz Kanata's castle. The reworked A-Wings in The Last Jedi are lifted straight out of McQuarrie's prints. But the real treasure trove of Macquarie tributes is Star Wars Rebels. One of the main reasons I love Star Wars Rebels so much is that it's practically a love letter to Ralph Macquarie's art. We've got the Krickness fighters on Adalon, Ezra's helmet being inspired by the original Snowtrooper design, Zeb's Lasat species comes from Macquarie's original Wookiee design, Chopper comes from the original R2-D2 design, and the infiltrator droid that sneaks onto the base comes from the C-3PO design. Not to mention the ATDP walker and the original walker. Even little stylistic tendencies in the animation itself, like having the lightsabers come to more of a point and less rounded like the original trilogy, or how angular they made Darth Vader's helmet. I hope they continually find new ways to keep Star Wars fresh, different, and interesting, but we never fully lose that visual style laid down by Ralph McQuarrie because it's so damn good. So I may be a big fan of Ralph McQuarrie's artwork, but I know I'm not the only one. Let me know in the comments below which of his pieces is your favorite and why. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel for more awesome Star Wars content and videos. And as always, may the Force be with you.